the song is the same, but the power character and response are quite a bit different from this half-naked sit-up street bike. The changes are really about long operation. Starting with the 12-liter airbox, versus 10 liters on the R1, Yamaha says the extra capacity helps performance on the FZ10 because it doesn't have the same available ram air effect since speeds on the FZ10 as a street bike are generally lower. Aha, and that there isn't a full fairing with an enclosed intake channel stuffing it in the airbox, true. It also could have an ergonomic inspiration, a larger airbox simply fits better on a bike where there is little need for the rider to tuck in. The FZ10's 45mm throttle bodies are essentially the same as those used on the R1 but allow for cruise control, yes, and carry single fuel injectors that pump 25% more fuel at 100% duty cycle, the shower heads on the R1 are deleted here, and the emphasis on making more power in lower RPM calls for the increased injector capacity. More conservative cams reduce duration, lift, and overlap. All things that help the bike run more smoothly and provide greater power at lower RPM. Add to this smaller ports and smaller 31mm steel, not 33mm titanium, intake valves, which give the air and fuel cause to rush more quickly into oblivion at lower RPM, making bottom end output more robust and overall response feel a lot more immediate than on the R1.